Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM, where Saturday nights in October are devoted to a unique screen star. The programming department under Charlie Tabish, typically unimpressed with human actors, have made robots our star of the month. We got a roster of some of the most memorable robots ever brought to the big screen. Last week, we had the destructive machine from Fritz Lang's Metropolis and Robbie the Robot from Forbidden Planet. We begin tonight with a sci-fi masterpiece that introduced a robot who became a cultural icon during the Cold War. From 1951, directed by Robert Wise, The Day the Earth Stood Still. Story begins as a UFO lands in Washington, D.C., and a human-like creature emerges telling the world he's come in peace. He may have come in peace, but he did not come alone. He's joined by an eight-foot robot named Gort. And Gort in addition to having a terrible name, does not seem to be as peaceful as our intergalactic neighbors would have us believe. Today, more than 70 years after its release, The Day the Earth Stood Still remains among the most influential sci-fi films ever made. But during production, nobody had an inkling the movie would become anything approaching a classic, including one of its stars, Patricia Neal. Neal thought of the movie as just another Aliens Come to Earth flick, and she had trouble keeping a straight face during her most famous encounter with the robot when she utters the film's most quoted line, Klatu Barada Nikto. In its original alien language, that translates to, I have an important message regarding your car's warranty. Gort was played by an actor who was as tall as he seems on screen. Locke Martin reportedly stood seven foot seven. He worked a variety of jobs before being hired as a doorman at Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. And it was there that he was discovered by 20th Century Fox. He made a small number of films before his death in 1959. He was just 42 years old. None of those films were as memorable as the one you're about to see. But in his brief career, Lock Martin gave us one of the most significant movie robots of all time. From 1951, also with Michael Rennie, Hugh Marlowe, and Sam Jaffe, with music by Bernard Herrmann, The Day the Earth Stood Still. One of the most compelling aspects of The Day the Earth Stood Still is his unforgettable score composed by Bernard Herrmann. Herrmann decided to use an electric theremin to create the extraterrestrial wailing sound that became a hallmark of 1950s sci-fi movies. If you've never seen a theremin or watched someone play one, it's worth finding a video on YouTube to see how it works. The instrument was invented in 1919 by Russian physicist Leon Theremin, and it's played without being touched. It's made up of a box with two metal antennas that create an electromagnetic field. The musician stands in front of it and moves their hands in the air to create the sounds. As you can imagine, there were not many professional theremin players available for hire in 1951, but Hollywood did have one on hand, Samuel Hoffman, who started out as a podiatrist and played music as a side gig. In 1945, composer Miklos Rosso was looking for a theremin player for Alfred Hitchcock's thriller Spellbound, and Hoffman's career in Hollywood began. Also, and this is nice, he was available to make sure Ingrid Bergman and Gregory Peck had sufficient arch support. Hoffman went on to play the instrument on many soundtracks, including The Lost Weekend, which was released a month before Spellbound, as well as The Day the Earth Stood Still and The Ten Commandments. Ahead tonight, Yul Brynner plays a robot. The King and I, starring Deborah Carr. That, that can't be right. Westworld. Westworld with Yul Brynner, Richard Benjamin, and James Brolin. That's next on TCM.